Hey, what's up, people? It's me, M. Kwan, senior editor here at Avora TV. Peace and blessings to all out there. Look what we had rolling. This is the brand new Nissan Maxima 2013. Fresh for us to get our hands on, test drive, review for you guys. So sit back. This is a different video for us, different video for you. We hope you enjoy this. We'll see you after the intro. Peace. This is it. Marketed as a four-door sports car, the origins of the Maxima began in July 1976 as the famous Datsun 810. Since then, it's become an iconic example of Japanese car design. A luxurious shaped sedan with a mean-looking sports edge, sharp lines with distinctive features. Years later, and this is a current generation, the 2013 Nissan Maxima. So amongst Nissan's current model range, the Maxima actually sits between the Altima and the 370Z series. In fact, you'd be forgiven for thinking it looks like the 370Z from the front and the Altima from the back. So let's talk about the details now. The Maxima has front wheel drive, uh, which was a bit of a surprise at first, though the driving experience isn't hindered. And under that mean, unusual, modern, attractive shaped bonnet of the Maxima, is a rather impressive 3.5 litre V6 engine and that shoots out in a respectful 290 brake horsepower and a respectful engine purr and an even impressive growl when called upon. Take a listen to this. Now that's going to get you from 0 to 60 in around 5.1 seconds. The Maxima, as with most of Nissan's current models, has something called a continuously variable transmission, also known as CVT. Now, when you drive a car with CVT, you'll definitely notice the difference. In a nutshell, it's supposed to be a type of automatic transmission that provides more usable power, better fuel economy, and a smoother driving experience than a traditional automatic. When driving a car with CVT, you'll never hear or feel that transmission shift, and that for some drivers feels a little strange. Now, all in all, this car means business. The 2013 Maxima comes in an S and SV trims, which is what we have here, adding interior technology features and upgrades to some of the interior materials. Now, it's very strange because the Maxima from the outside looks like quite a lean built sports machine, but from inside, it actually has a lot of comforts that you would expect from a high-end luxury sedan. So you've got really good quality material, this particular model comes with uh, the beige, a uh, cream colored, a uh, double stitched leather seating, as well as real good attention to veneer and details, and that moon screen, or what we in the UK would call a sunscreen at the top. Plenty of space and also sports an impressive Bose sound system. Okay guys, so, I want to take this part of the video to show you the technology that's in the Nissan Maxima. It's actually on par with some of the top end uh, cars that are out there. And uh, I'll show you some of those features and you can see exactly why I'm making that point. The first thing is this keyless activation. You've got basically a key here and it has a range of features here. One is that you can kind of unlock lock from a distance as well as sort of a simple feature that can um, open the boot for you. It's essential, especially when you're bringing groceries and, and things like that. Now, essentially, all you need to do is keep this key somewhere on you, whether it's in your pocket, your bag, doesn't really matter. Keep that on you because you've got one uh, button activation. So you hit the button and things will start. Now, let's just take you around the dashboard and just show you this very quickly. The first thing is your all-in-one navigation audio system over here. You've got everything all in one place. You've got your navigation system. You've got your uh, access to the um, auxiliary. So for example, if you want to connect an iPod manually, you can do that. I'll just show you where. Ports down below, you won't be able to see them, but you can actually link in um, an iPod touch or uh, an MP3 player through an auxiliary cable system and that works really well uh, for that need. You can also pair up your Bluetooth device. So I've got my iPhone 5 running iOS 7 uh, beta and all I need to do is just turn it on from here and it should pick up with 
the system. Mcon's iPhone is connected. Now essentially what that means is I can take all the calls from my iPhone 5 within the car. And you've got all the features over here. If you come over here, you can see that we've got call on button over here. We've got a call off button, which can access that down there. You've got a volume rocker over here, and that will allow you then to do the voice, um, sort of voiceover calls made directly from the car. It means that you can concentrate on the road uh, and you can take calls at the same time. As well as that, what I'm gonna do, let me just start the car, put the put down on the brake. There we go. Now, as well as that, one of the other features is the fact that you can control basically everything from your steering wheel. That means you can control the volumes, uh, you can control the channels, you can control the tracks that you're listening to, all with these really handy up down toggle buttons you can do that all from there now i just want to take you back to the sat nav system the sat nav system here is actually one of the best that i've experienced um, it's really easy to use you can use the physical keys over here and you can also use the touch screen and the touch screen on this is actually pretty good and the fact that nissan has included both of them so that you can actually decide you know how you want to do it some people have an issue with touch screens particularly sensitivity um, so there's a physical manifestation of the buttons here and that makes it easy to do one of the things that i found while i was driving was that we change uh, destinations a couple of time and the fact that when i'm driving i don't need to try and fiddle around with the screen i need to have a quick look at the screen so it means that if you look over here i can actually toggle zoom in zoom out using the physical buttons which is really cool another really cool feature to show you is the screen support when it comes to reverse parking check that out um, once you put it into the reverse gear on the gear stick you'll find that you get this screen and it gives you a really really good indication as to the traffic behind you obviously i've got two cars behind me and it gives you this indication as to when people are close uh, how close you are to the back a really nice feature bear in mind you know this is a luxury um, four-door sports car and the features that you find on here are on par with a lot of the top top end brands that will charge you know double if not triple more the price tag for for a car like this just have a look overall on the dashboard i mean you can see that there's really good quality leather and um it's it doesn't feel cheap at all there's no kind of cheap feeling here plenty of space in the um the glove box down here over here the veneer that's used in in the kind of effect over here is really good plenty plenty of space this is uh on the tech side really impressive and bear in mind um, the sound system in the car is really really good it's using the bose uh, sound system and it means that you know the quality of the uh, audio that you get is really really impressive overall so i mean that's just a look uh, at the technical tech side that's included in the nissan maxima overall really really good the only one issue that i have one issue that i've experienced is the fact that somehow the display and this area over here is a little low for my liking it would be nice if this was raised slightly because it means that when i'm driving my attention's on the road i kind of have to divert downwards to look at the screen um you know if i'm missing a button or if i want to sort of change certain things it would be nice if it was more at this kind of angle so it's kind of like a move over here i can still concentrate on the road and kind of within my vision uh field of vision i could also see the screen that would be something that would be nice to perhaps change in future models and that's about it really other than that i can't really fault it an awesome awesome experience